Welcome future elementary educators. Uh, this screencast is about a topic that we will never, ever, ever, ever teach to children, ever. Uh, this is an idea that doesn't pop up until Algebra 2 in the high school curriculum. So this is definitely a thing that we are talking about because we're adults and not something that we're talking about because we're going to explain it to children. But if we're going to talk about functions as machines, we might as well consider the idea that we might have a function machine where something goes in and something comes out, but then we take that thing that comes out and we put it into another machine. And then something comes out of that other machine. If this setup happens, a setup where we have a function machine and then another function machine hooked up in, uh, in series, then we call this a composition of functions. So uh, let's give them names. Uh, this is g of x. Uh, let's let g of x be x plus 2. Uh, this machine is f of x. f of x is maybe 3x. So the g machine adds 2 to the input. The f machine triples the input. That's what happens with this composition of functions. So for example, if you take the number 5 as an input into the G machine, uh, the output is 7, but that output from the G machine is an input for the F machine, and so 21 comes out of the F machine, and we would say that F of G of 5 is 21. We totally ignore the 7. 7 is an intermediate calculation. Uh, f of g of 5, we know the input to the first machine, and we know the output from the second machine. Uh, more generally, if x goes into the g machine, then x plus 2 comes out of the g machine, but that x plus 2 goes into the f machine, and we know that the f machine triples inputs. And so we would write that f of g of x is 3 times x plus 2. Notationally speaking, sometimes we write this as f of g of 5, and that allows us to look at f of g as one giant machine with two miniature machines inside hooked in series. Uh, we would write f of g of x. That's a circle. It's raised from the ground. It's not the letter O. Uh, so if I were to do this in big print, uh, that's f of g. Uh, that of is a circle. It's raised from the, the ground level. It kind of hangs about halfway in midair, and it's a circle, not a times sign. Okay, uh, by way of a second example, uh, let's imagine that f of x is the function x squared minus 2, and g of x is the function 2x minus 1, and maybe we want to find f of g of 3. Well, that's, that's okay. That's f of whatever g of 3 is. Well, g of 3 is 2 times 3 minus 1. That's 5. And then f of 5, well, that's that's here, that's 5 squared minus 2, that's 23. And that is f of g of 3. Uh, sometimes colloquially read fog of 3. Uh, in a similar way, we could find g of f of 4. Uh, in a similar way, uh, we would find g of f of 4. Well, what's f of 4? f of 4 is 4 squared minus 2. And how do we find g of something? Well, we double the input and subtract 1. 
double 14 and subtract 1, and that is g of f of 4, sometimes read colloquially goth of 4. So the big picture here is that once you have functions as machines, you can hook several of those machines together, and the hooking together of those several machines is what we call a composition. Uh, small children do not have to know about that, but you should know about that because you should know where they're going when you teach the children. Okay, uh, that's good enough for here. Glad that you stuck along through the lesson. Looking forward to seeing you next time.